Uh, this is my response to Chad Clifford made, um, I guess, one final video to give me his advice, his words of wisdom. Okay. Well, let me give you my words of wisdom. In my world, and that's the only world that matters. You understand? And don't take this personal. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just giving it to you real. I don't really care about your advice. All right. I don't want it. I didn't ask for it. And I don't care about it. You know, the way let's just call him. Um, let's call him Uncle Festa. <laughs> OK, you know, the way Uncle Festa doesn't seem to care about people who have cancer. Like, remember, he says, I don't care. I don't care about people who have cancer. I don't care. I don't care about people who are taking chemotherapy and then have to wear a wig. I'll crack them in their jaw or I'll break their jaw. Okay. So see, in other words, everybody has their own feelings. You, do you see, do you see where I'm going with this, Chad? So you feel a certain way. I feel a certain way. And Uncle Festa feels a certain way. But the only true feelings that matter are mine. And I'll tell you the reason why. Because it's about how, ultimately, I will handle this matter. See, that's something that's out of your hands. That's something that's out of Uncle Fester's hands. That's something that's out of Uncle Fester's attorney's hands. <laughs> that's something that's even out of law enforcement's hands. It's out of everyone's hands. You see? So the ultimate person whose feelings are, are going to count here are mine and how I will pursue this matter moving forward. Could be a day, could be a week, could be two weeks, could be two months, it could even be a year. Who knows? But that's the thing I think that Uncle Festa doesn't understand and that's the thing that you don't understand. See, so in other words, no one could stop me no one could stop the way I'm going to deal with this matter. Like, in other words, you can make video chat after video after video saying whatever you want. Uncle Festa can make video after video after video saying, you know, whatever, I'm going to be served, uh, you know, lawyers, police. Okay. None of that has anything to do with what I'm feeling inside. Are you starting to understand? None of this has to do with how I'm going to deal with this. I spoke to Uncle Fester and I said to him, my feelings. I said, apologize. I said, listen, come after me. I would, have, again, I want to reiterate, I know this is redundant, but it bears repeating. Did I make videos? Yeah, about a lot of people where I was maybe rude or however you want to take it. Okay. So those people, those individuals have every right to attack me and make videos that are rude about me. But in my opinion and in my feelings, those persons do not have the right to attack my wife with stage four breast cancer. There are consequences to taking those actions. See, this is what I just don't think you understand, Chad. And I don't think Uncle Fester understands it. See, Uncle Fester feels he could run to the law. This is what he feels. In other words, he feels I could threaten a woman with stage four breast cancer, threaten to break a jaw. I could make fun of the fact that she has a life-threatening illness where she could pass away any moment. I could do that. I have the right to do that. Okay. And I have the right to make fun of her chemotherapy treatments and that she wears wigs. I could call her a man. And I could run to the law for protection. I could run to my attorneys. I could run to the police. I could run to Elk Spaghetti. I could do all the, I could run to all these people for help. But there's one thing that everybody is not taking into account. My feelings. What I am prepared to do what I choose to do. And that's solely something that is inside of me. 
And neither you, Chad Clifford, Uncle Fester, Elk Spaghetti, anyone has no control over what I am prepared to do. Could uh, Uncle Festa have apologized and said, you know something, going after your wife who has stage four breast cancer and threatening to punch a jaw and threatening her and all the ways he did, I'm sorry for that. That was, that was not right. But you, on the other hand, I have every right to come after you, attack you, make fun of you, degrade you. Could he have done that? Yes, but he chose not to. He chose not to. He feels he could run to law, law, you know, uh, lawyers, whoever, for protection. Okay, well, that's his prerogative. It's also my prerogative to handle things the way I choose. That's all I have to say.